It's a really significant day for us because this is the culmination, really, of 10 years of work. Uh, we started working with Interpol in 2003, uh, which uh, at the time there was a wildlife crime working group. And uh, we realized early on that as an NGO working to try to stop illegal wildlife crime, that we needed more help. Um, that we needed the professionalism of, a, of an organization like Interpol, and that in fact, uh, in many ways, uh, police enforcement officials, wildlife enforcement officials, customs officials, were not going to share information privately with a nonprofit group. Uh, and so we took the decision that the, the problems were big enough and they were complex enough that we wanted a partnership with Interpol uh, and that we were happy to fund, uh, help develop trainings uh, that could reach out to the uh, law enforcement world, um, but step back when we needed to so that the law enforcement people could share information that perhaps they wouldn't share with us. So that's one of the most significant things about the partnership. The issue of awareness is, is absolutely critical. I think that a lot of times people don't understand the impact that they are having. Um, they're thinking, well, if something is in the marketplace, it's, uh, it's allowed, it's legal. Oftentimes, that's not the case. But even when it is legal, um, for people to understand that there's an impact on wildlife, in most cases, um, it's very difficult to control poaching, and those products can make their way into the marketplace. So basically, we're asking people to really think twice about what it is that they buy and um, normally these products don't have a real need. They're, they're in fact trinkets uh, and they can do without them. And it's a precautionary principle. Uh, don't buy it and, and do the part that you can to try to help animals stay alive. Um, I think that on a, on a larger scale, uh, people need to understand that in fact we are in crisis. Uh, more and more animals are being killed. Uh, this past year for elephants has been an absolute catastrophic year. Uh, rhinos are being killed uh, in ways that they haven't been in numbers not seen in 10 years. So it, it really is a crisis. We're asking people to, to pause, think about what it is that they're doing, and forgo buying that trinket. One of the most important things about the partnership between IFA and Interpol is that it has results on the ground. So there's a lot of good news in terms of awareness, um, political will. You'll hear a lot in the newspapers about politicians and heads of states beginning to speak about the importance uh, of this issue, the crisis that we're in. But translating that is often much more difficult uh, than people might imagine. And just because a president or a head of state says something doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. So what is it that we see with Interpol and IFAL? Um, we have a number of operations that are on the ground. Poachers are being arrested. Um, ivory and other wildlife products are being confiscated. We're looking at the networks. We're finding out how the money moves, uh, how the products move. And so from, a, from our perspective as a nonprofit group that has donors who give money to stop the killing, we're able to show through the Interpol relationship that in fact we're having results on the ground. Bad guys are going to jail. Confiscations are taking place. Uh, so the protection for elephants, rhinos, tigers, many many other animals is increasing as a result. So that's, that's the reality of this uh, relationship.